Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now I'm starting the problems on computation of tax liability. So last video I have explained you in detail regarding what are the different types of SSCs and what are the basic exemption limit of different types of SSCs, what are the different slabs and tax rebate under section 87A surcharge. All these things I have explained in the last video. The same theory I'm going to apply in the practical problems to find out the tax liability. So if you have not watched this, that video, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject, select the subject advanced aspect of income tax, select the video of tax rates. Watch the first video, be acquainted with all the provisions of Income Tax Act 1961. Now we'll start the problems. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Without problems, you cannot be able to understand the solution. So take a screenshot of the solution of the first four problems, then I'll explain in detail about each problem. Come on, I'm starting the first problem. <clears throat> Mr. B, 45 years old, is a resident of India and has earned a total income of Rs. 4,80,000. Calculate his tax liability for the current assessment year. First of all, the SSC is 45 years, below 60 years, so non-senior citizen. For non-senior citizen, the basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. And the total income is 4,80,000. Now see here, Mr. B, the total income 4,80,000. The basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. So up to 2,50,000, 2,50,000 income, rate of tax nil, tax nil. The next slab goes from 2,50,001 to 5 lakh. That is the slab, second slab. But our income is not going up to 5 lakh. Our income is only 4,80,000, so I'm taking the balance. I'm taking the balance. So 4,80 minus 250, 2,30,000. So the rate of tax is 5% for the second slab. So 5% of 2,30,000, 11,500. So tax on total income, 11,500. Tax rebate under section 87A will be allowed if the total income is up to 5 lakh. Up to 5 lakh rupees tax rebate will be allowed. So here the total income is only 4,80,000 less than 5 lakh. So tax rebate under section 87A is allowed. So how much? Actual income tax or fixed 12,500 whichever is less. So ceiling is given 12,500 not more than 12,500 SSC can get the rebate. So actual income tax or 12,500 whichever is least will be allowed as deduction as rebate. So here the income tax is 11,500, which is less than 12,500. So 11,500 is allowed as tax rebate. So tax liability is nil. So in note, you can write the total income is less than 5 lakh. So rebate, tax rebate under section 87A is allowed to the least of the following two amounts. Actual income tax 11,500 or fixed amount 12,500, whichever is less, 11,500. Oh. First problem completed. Now, second problem. Mr. J is 60 years old. 60 years means senior citizen. 60 and above but below 80. 60 and above but below 80 are senior citizen. For senior citizen, the basic exemption limit is 3 lakhs. Is a resident of India and has earned a total income of 5 lakh. Calculate the tax liability. So here Mr. J. Age 60 years, senior citizen. Total income 5 lakh. The basic exemption limit for senior citizen is 3 lakhs. Non-senior 2 lakh 50 thousand. Senior 3 lakh. Up to 3 lakh rupees, income 3 lakh rupees, nil. Tax rate nil, tax nil. The next slab goes from 3 lakh 1 to 5 lakh. 
from 3 lakh 1 rupee to 5 lakh 2 lakh rupees is the income 5% is the tax so 2 lakh into 5% 10,000 so tax on total income 10,000 now tax rebate is allowed because the income is up to 5 lakh not more than 5 lakh if the income goes more than 5 lakh no tax rebate up to 5 lakh tax rebate will be allowed so tax rebate under section 87 8 10,000 List of the following to actual income tax or 12,500, whichever is least. So here tax liability is nil. The SSC is a senior citizen, so the basic exemption limit 3 lakh. Since total income is not exceeding 5 lakh, so tax rebate is allowed to the least of the following. Two. Actual income tax 10,000 or fixed 12,500, whichever is least, 10,000 is allowed. Nil. Tax liability nil. Next, third one. Mr. X is 80 years old 80 years old means super senior citizen 80 and above are super senior for super senior citizen the basic exemption limit is 5 lakhs has earned a total income of 15 lakh calculate the tax liability so mr x age 80 years super senior citizen total income 15 lakh the basic exemption limit is 5 lakh so up to 5 lakh rupees, income 5 lakh, nil. Next slab goes from 5 lakh 1 rupee to 10 lakhs. 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakh. The income comes to 5 lakh. The tax rate is 20%. So 5 lakh into 20%, 1 lakh. Over 10 lakh rupees, whatever is the balance, the tax rate is 30%. So total income is 15 lakh. 15 minus 5 minus 5, the balance remains 5. The 5 lakh into 30 percent, 1 lakh 50,000. Total tax is 2 lakh 50,000. The tax on total income 2 lakh 50,000. Tax rebate under section 87A not allowed because the income is more than 5 lakh. When the income is total income is more than 5 lakh, no tax rebate will be allowed. Nil. Then health and ed education says. Every taxpayer has to pay health and education as 4% of the basic tax. So 4% of 2,50,000, 10,000. So 2,60,000 is the tax liability. Note you can write the SSC super senior citizen. So the basic exemption limit is 5 lakh. And tax rebate under section 87A is not allowed because the total income is more than 5 lakh. Surcharge will not be applied. Surcharge is not applicable because the total income is below 50 lakh. If the total income is above 50 lakh, then surcharge will be applied. Here no surcharge, less than 50 lakh. That's it. Next, fourth problem. Calculate tax liability of Mr. C, age 62 years, a non-resident, if total income is 5 lakh. So first of all, the SSC is 62 years, senior citizen. But he is a non-resident. First three problems, resident, non-resident. For non-resident, the basic exemption limit is 2,50,000 for any SSC, whether non-senior, senior or super senior. For non-resident person, the basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. So here, 62 years, senior citizen, non-resident. We are not concerned with senior or non-senior. Because once he is a non-resident, the basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. So total income is 5 lakh. Up to 2,50,000, income 2,50,000 nil. From 2,50,000 to 5 lakh, here the total income is 5 lakh only. So 2,50,000, 5% is the rate of tax, 12,500. So tax on total income, 12,500. Tax rebate under section 87A will be allowed only for resident SSCs. For non-resident SSCs, tax rebate not at all allowed. So nil. 12,500. Health and education says 4% of the basic tax, 4% of 12,500, 500 rupees, 13,000 is the tax liability. <coughs> now, for non-resident persons, the basic exemption limit is 2,50,000 for any SSC, non-senior, senior or super senior. Tax rebate 87A is allowed only, only, only for resident SSCs. For non-resident SSCs, tax rebate is not allowed. That's all. 
तो फोर प्रॉब्लम्स आप कंप्लीटेड इन दिस वीडियो इंशाल्लाह नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम विल स्टार्ट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बट बिफोर दैट आई वांट टू इंफॉर्म यू दैट आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ न्यू चैनल फॉर आईजीसीएससी स्टूडेंट्स द नेम ऑफ द न्यू चैनल इज हांस अकाउंटिंग इंस्टीट्यूट सो विजिट माय न्यू चैनल एंड डू सब्सक्राइब माय न्यू चैनल आल्सो इंशाल्लाह विल कंटिन्यू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो